Alright guys, welcome to another new video of Noah's Art Campsite. If you're new to the channel, we, me and Lisa, we are a young couple both from the Netherlands, both 25 years old and we left the Netherlands to start our own self-sustainable farm. And we already have quite a lot of videos, so if you want to check out how we did our first step from actually leaving the Netherlands to doing the first things to see where we are right now, then you can just go and watch our channel. There's a lot of videos you would like to see it. But right now, in this video we will show you how we do more of our beautiful garden because we have some empty spots and we are going to fill them up. So this Garden of Eden will be completely filled with beautiful vegetables. So we become more and more self-sustainable. What do we have here? We have here tomatoes, which we got from the seed. We uh, germinated them planted them in the greenhouse and now they are already this big so we have a lot of tomatoes <laughs> because this entire line is also tomato uh, we have many different kinds we have normal ones we have flesh tomatoes Italian tomatoes uh, sherry tomatoes mucho mucho tomatoes <laughs> as you know in the summertime you prepare for the winter time so right now is the time that we want to produce a lot of tomatoes so we can sustain the rest of the year so uh, yeah, let's plant these ones in the ground. They just came out of the greenhouse where they got this big and they look beautiful. And uh, yeah, we're going to plant them in the ground right now. Let's do it. all right so these are planted let's have a look at the rest of the garden the strawberries the brussels sprouts the cabbages a lot of different stuff um, right here is still empty but right here is gonna come more tomatoes uh, here we planted the bell peppers but we have more in the greenhouse and they will come here so this entire area uh, will be with bell peppers as you can see the, the vegetables they are doing pretty good let's go to the back of the garden the melons doing also very well here are the eggplants the cucumbers the pickles well everything <laughs> right here we planted even more tomatoes so this entire area is for the corn. As you saw in previous videos, we planted them and they're all sprouting, coming out, doing pretty good also. And the ones I planted like a few weeks ago already, two weeks ago, they're doing really good. As you can see, they do really good. Right here, we also planted a maracuya plant because this is a beautiful apple tree. And maracuya likes to grow an other tree. Maracuya is passion fruit. When we were in Mexico, we had a cabana, very beautiful place. And like right before our door, there was also like maracuya plant tree. And we had like two, three uh, passion fruits every single day. And they were delicious. So that made us uh, made this, make this choice. So the, the garden is doing pretty well, pretty good. We still have some empty spots, not much actually. Only here. We have to look what we are going to do here. And it's Sunday today, so we try to do, well, we plan to do nothing today, but there's no time to do nothing here. <laughs> there's always something to do. So what we are going to do tomorrow, Monday, we are completing the fencing for the sheep area because the house, the sheep house is ready now. Uh, we only have to do this little piece of the fencing right here. So from there to the gate, the gate I already made, right? As you can see. And from here to there. So that's it. And then we can actually start looking for some sheep. 
we uh, we don't know which kind of breed uh, of sheep we are going to take we looked online on youtube and we see many different opinions so if you have like a straight good answer for us that would be great please let us know uh, so we plan to take two uh, women and then find somebody who has a ram so once or twice a year they can do their thing you know pompy pompy <laughs> and then uh, yeah we have once or twice lamb in a year and maybe we can do something with the milk of the sheep and yeah a lamb when it gets around 11 months old you have 30 kilos of meat so that's pretty good right uh, combined with the chickens that makes us already quite self-sustainable so if you have any idea what kind of breed suits our destination, let us know. All right, so we decided that we uh, are going to learn uh, for Bowie to coexist with the chickens in open space. Why? Then we can leave the door open and the chickens can go walk with the sheep and Bowie still has space to play because otherwise the space will shrink for Bowie. So little by little, we are teaching Bowie how to be kind to the chickens instead of eating them because they are ours. All right, we just entered the greenhouse and look, the temperature is very good here. Look at the glasses. <laughs> it's very warm. I'm going to harvest some rucola because I'm going to cook with it. I'm going to make a pasta pesto. So this is the first harvest. Let's cook! Alright guys, um, we have one problem with one chicken. It seems like he has an injury on his leg or whatever because he cannot walk good anymore. So maybe we have to slaughter her. Uh, that would be the first one. It's a, it's a meat chicken so um, it all depends on if she is still going to eat. Because now she cannot move so much. So if she still eats. She will grow fat faster and then we will let her live for a while until she get more fat. So let's have a look. This one over here, see? Here. All right guys, so we're going to fix up this primero parto, the first part of the Garden of Eden. Uh, here is coming more potatoes like I told you. So what am I doing? I cut the ground very loose, around 30, 40 centimeters deep. I'm getting the loosened up soil out and then we're going to put the tomatoes in here and we're going to make lines. Now, as you can see, I made uh, quite a nice wall, <laughs> uh, a trench actually. So we're going to put in the potatoes. Let's have a look. Maybe it's a little bit too deep, Joop. You think too deep? I think it's a little bit too deep. Why? I didn't do them that deep. <coughs> Alright, putting the tomatoes in. The potatoes. Potatoes. Not the tomatoes. Oh yeah, potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> Alright, so potatoes in the ground. Next step, cover them up. is done the other one we will do tomorrow or another day because we don't have that much potatoes anymore so I'm curious if they will come up so far because the holes were quite deep right but now they have a lot of space to create nice potatoes right so the other ones we made the trenches are a little bit small so I don't know if there will be a lot of potatoes so the experiment is deep wide loose earth and smaller staples and lines Let's see which ones perform best, so we can fine-tune that into the next season. Kevin finally found the king chair. <laughs> That's funny to see. We were also thinking about taking a pig. But how and where? Because a pig it destroys the entire soil and everything. So if we're going to do it, 
we're going to do it later at the place here where the caravan is right now and we're going to build something with the stones and concrete because they make a mess <laughs> so maybe later but that would be awesome because then we have three animals we have pigs we have sheep we have chicken and then we are really uh, getting to the point that we'll become really self-sustainable in terms of meat and vegetables and stuff i also made a specific thing to slaughter the chickens because i showed you that we have one uh, chicken with a bad leg he still eats i checked so he gets fatter and fatter so we let him get fat his feathers are also not so good and it's an indication that the pack uh, is biting him because he's more weak so the rest of the chickens they pick in him so his feathers are not so her feathers are not so nice and stuff so the end for her is coming very near so I made a nice thing and it's right here the guillotine but once this moment comes along I will make a specific video on how to do that with the chicken it's not un unhumane if you eat any meat uh, and you buy it from the supermarket uh, well they had a more terrible life than they have here and uh, I mean if you eat it you also should be capable of cleaning it yourself and I can almost tell you for sure that there is going to come food shortages you just have to look what's going on for example in the States they uh, like all of a sudden since January <laughs> more than 20 uh, distribution for food just burned down or farms or whatever cattle just died all of a sudden by the thousands because of the heat so the climate again I don't believe that's a coincidence that's why we're doubling down on self-producing stuff because things are gonna get bad you just have to look around and you can call me a conspiracy dude or whatever but it's just reality it's happening and the fact that it's not in the news doesn't mean it's not happening right <laughs> all right Lisa what are you doing so I am grabbing the seeds of some raspberries I just had a few beautiful amazing raspberries and I thought like oh I need those in my garden too so I just smudged them with a piece of paper and as you can see so I'm putting them on a piece of paper and we have a lot so I'm going to make a few and I'm going to put them in a, a little basket with some soil and some water and put them in the greenhouse and let's grow some raspberries all right guys as you can see um, I'm butchering the chicken right now I made a campfire I made a thing to cut on because as you can imagine on the table it's not very nice so I made this one everything of course entirely out of wood because I like to work with wood uh, if you want to see how I did this with the chicken and how I'm going to proceed I made a specific video for that uh, you can see that video when you watch until the end you will see uh, the video on the bottom on the left or on the right and you can go and see this video how we butcher this chicken mm -hmm. it's very educational because it's also where we stand for so uh, yeah very important to us and if you're curious how that works if you eat chicken if you eat meat it might be interesting to see how the process goes in a humane way right so yes believe it or not guys but we finally have the wood protector in house we have three of these so we're going to start with the chicken house after we finish the chicken house we'll go to the sheep house to the toilet to the dog house so let's get started Okay guys, we found another mole and we didn't kill it. I think we can thank the cats for that. We hate the cats because they make quite some noise sometimes. But we have a mole. Look at those little paws. 
This is the little creature that fucks up the garden. <laughs> we got him. We got him. Hey. So guys, that brings us to the garden. I haven't filmed for a few days. So as you can see, it has grown quite a lot. Very beautiful, very nice. I also got a haircut because it was too long. I intended to grow my hair, but I couldn't resist the cut. So what are we going to do today? Because um, we spend quite a lot of time watering the plants. In the morning, in the evening, especially when it's hot, we do two times a day. So that takes a lot of time from us. So now we are going to make an automatic system with uh, little pipelines and we place it everywhere and then we only have to open the switch and it drops everywhere. So let's start with that. All right, so we got one section fixed up with the light, uh, yeah, with the bite lines, and it's more work than we expected it to be, but it looks kind of awesome. You know, it looks kind of professional. Let's have a look. How's it going, Lisa? Good. Pain in the back. Yes. <laughs> The rest of the garden is also doing quite good. Let's have a look at the corn. This section we planted uh, like one and a half week back, it starts to grow, pretty nice. The back part section looks really nice, but this is going to be a lot of work with the pipelines. But yeah, it has to be done, right? It saves us a lot of time. So let's have a look on the inside of the greenhouse. Ooh, it's hot here. So as you can see, uh, the things I planted already grew a little bit. The bell peppers, not so fast, but slowly, these things slowly coming up here as well. The grass doesn't grow harder by pulling onto it, right? It's nature, just slowly, everything on its time. We're not in a rush. So uh, t the, tonight, nice barbecue, I have a huge, huge t-bone steak waiting for me and i'm looking forward to eat that <laughs> all right guys that brings us to the end of this video of noah's art campsite thank you for watching once again if you made it to the end thank you very much we would appreciate if you like this video and subscribe to your channel because there is a lot of nice things coming up in the next videos the last few weeks or the last week actually has been quite slowly because we were waiting for uh, the wood protector and all that kind of stuff uh, we had a little party here in town and we were searching for sheep so we've been to a few places already but we're not the type of sheep we like some were too young so the neighbors helped us and tomorrow we are going to look for other sheep so hopefully we will uh, manage to do that uh, manage to buy them so you will see that in the next video uh, also our other plans because we are also thinking about taking a cow uh, Thinking about maybe a pig after that because the cow is very uh, Make sure you have a healthy family um, So so thank you for watching to the end uh, If you want to see the video of where I butcher the chicken you can do that right here And please make sure to subscribe to your channel. You can do that right here So thank you for watching and don't forget to tell your friends and family Noah's our campsite. Ciao.